What's going on my ASVAB party people? Coach Anderson here and I've got your back in this pretty short and sweet problem here, but it's really important to understand how to recognize extra information. So let's go ahead and crush this. And before we get started, just remember, we do host a free ASVAB class once a week on Zoom. So feel free to check the link in the description of the video or my profile. That way you can go ahead and join for free, raise your score and get the job you want. So here we go. First things first, as always, we're gonna read the question. How many of them are seated? So we don't wanna confuse ourselves with all the information, we're good. Just read the question sentence itself starting with the who, what, when, where, how many, which of the following. That's what we want to focus on. So there we are. How many of them are seated? Okay. So I'm looking for the number of folks that are seated equals blank. Now, next up, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the information that's given. So seven minutes before an event is set to begin, one fourth of the attendees are seated. If 40 total attendees are expected, how many seated? Okay. So this is very interesting because we see that we have seven minutes before an event is set to start. Well, does this matter? <laughs> does this matter at all? No, it doesn't. Because we're just asked to find how many of these folks are seated. We know that a one fourth or a quarter or one over four, let's write that down right there. One fourth of the attendees. So one fourth multiplied by all attendees that's how many are seated. And it's written right there in plain English. One fourth, so a quarter of multiply the attendees and we have 40 total attendees. So really what we're doing here, my math party people, and I know this one's pretty short and sweet, but it's all good. It's all good because if this makes sense, then it makes sense and you're happy. So one fourth of all attendees, which is 40, that's gonna give us our answer, which remember that when we're multiplying fractions, we can go ahead and put a, any number that's just by itself over one. And so this is essentially gonna be 40 divided by four, which is going to be 10. 10 of these folks are seated and we are good. So if you wanna go ahead and perform well on the ASVAB and also make sure that you don't freak out when you see extra information, then go ahead, join us for a free ASVAB class, my party people. I'm Coach Anderson. I host a free Zoom class once a week. Check out the link in the description of this video or my profile to go ahead and learn more, raise your score, and get the job you want. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's ace the ASVAB.